This fall, brace yourself for a giant monster invasion. Kadoja is on its way. Coming this October from 215 Inc. The 200 foot tall monster sized super weapon called Kadoja activated from a three year hibernation and is obliterating everything in its path. Now, the special weapons division of the military must stop the weapon they design. See giant monster destruction. Feel the fury of the ultimate weapon. Race to stop an unstoppable monster. Pre-order issue number one now through your local comic book shop. Coming this October. So how's everybody doing? Yeah. All right, all right. Kaiju crazy. Yes, okay, well good. This is a good place for kaiju crazy people. So uh, my name's Keith Foster. I, uh, I, do, I do a few things. I am in a band called Big Pimp Jones. Um, we do funk and we also do funk meets Godzilla music. Um, we, I also write an independent comic uh, called Kadoja, so a giant monster comic. I'm in Artist Alley, and uh, if my voice sounds familiar and you're fans of the Kaiju cast, I've been fortunate enough to, to guest a couple times and have some podcasts of my own. Um, so to my left here is Stephen Schilling. You want to say hello to everybody? Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm a uh, Kaiju artist. I've been coming here for five years straight now. I've been in Artist Alley for three years. Come say hi. Uh, I've been an actor for 35 years. Um, I have not yet been on the Kaiju cast. I'm finding a way to do it. <laughs> And, uh, and then getting things uh, ready to the right here is our friend Kyle Yount. From the Hi. Kaiju Hi. Sorry. Okay. You might be familiar with his work from 100% of the panels this year. Can I have the water? <laughs> uh, Thank you, can... you guys for coming to this, by the way. We did a dress, dress rehearsal. We did a rehearsal last night. <laughs> we did a It we did was a... really fun and really funny. And yeah. really hope that everybody's going to love this. Yeah, can this, is this mic loud enough? It sounds like you're pretty loud. I'm I don't know. Generally you're you're loud. booming. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. So, so who here likes Marvel Comics Godzilla? Yes! All right, all right. So, uh, as you know, this is a dr dramatic interpretation of Godzilla number 23 and 24. Um, actually, Stephen came up, came up with the idea because we had, uh, we had talked about this panel a little while ago and I had said I really wanted to do a live read of a, of a Godzilla comic and then he was like, oh, well, it's obvious that you do Godzilla 23 and 24, right? I'm like, no. This is a, a, a battle of super blockbusters. The Avengers meet Godzilla. Um, and again, we're going to go through a dramatic reading here and uh, we'll take a little break after one of the issues once Kyle gets set up and everything. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll set it off. Eons past, a monstrous hybrid of land and marine reptiles was sealed into a state of suspended animation, slumbering through the fall of dinosaurs and the rise of man. But awakened by an undersea nuclear test, the creature returned to life, now breathing the fires of radiation. Stanley presents Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Yeah. The King once more. Godzilla has just completed a mind-warping trip through time and size. He is here now, back at his full awesome stature. You got Doc Doom's time machine here just in the proverbial nick, Reed. But now we gotta stop Godzilla from demolishing Times Square. Right, Johnny. But at the moment, he's got his eyes on the shield helicarrier. And inside the helicarrier pilot, Hugh Howard's Commander Dum Dum Dugan, and Gabe Jones gape in wonder. We're back in business, all right, and in a big blasted way. Get a little closer, Howard, so as we can look out. <laughs> Not that close. He's confused, and jamming the helicarrier in his face only made him mad. But what else can we? Dugan, Dugan, it's me, Reed Richards. Listen to me. Godzilla seems to be after you and your helicarrier. Dum-dum. That's Mr. Fantastic out there. 
Yeah, Gabe, I see him. So what else is new, Richard? Skip the sarcasm, Dugan, and listen to what I have to say. The slingshot effect of the time machine has evidently disoriented Godzilla. You mean it not only brought him back for our time, but it also scrambled his brain? Something like that, yes. It enraged him. And you seem to be the target for his rage. So I'm suggesting that you try to lure him out to the river and... Look out, Richards! He's getting ready for one of his radiation blasts! Thanks. And once you reach the river, we can worry about forcing him into the ocean. Okay, it's worth a try, Richards. Lord knows we ain't gonna have... We ain't got a contingency plan ready for this. Move it out! On to 42nd Street! You got it, dum-dum. And keep directly above wide streets, Howards. Make sharp right angle turns only. It works. Godzilla pursues. Here come the tribes. The Micronaut robot clowns to make you laugh. Turn them on in these robot clowns. Hip hop, flip and flop in the most hilarious ways. Shift the wheels and change the way they strut their stuff. And you can make them waddle, ramble, scramble and tumble. How wacky they behave is up to you. And all parts are interchangeable, so you can mix and match them to invent your own Trons. Or combine them with other Micronaut vehicles to make altogether new toys. Batteries not included. <laughs> His eyes locked on the hell airborne hell carrier. What the? Blind to occurrences on the tiny street below. It's that, it's that monster, the thing they call Godzilla, but it's, it's so big, it's ten times bigger than it was before. Doesn't matter, I gotta stop it. Kill it before it hurts any people. <laughs> the tiny pellets are barely strong enough to sting Godzilla's Pew. tough hide. Pew. But they are enough to attract his attention. <laughs> and when the Leviathan turns, <laughs> buildings fall. Stop it, you fool! You've distracted him from the helicarrier! Huh? If you want to do some good, use your radio to get every available car mobilized. Tell them to clear all the streets, from here to the river, no matter what traffic snarls it causes. Oh, oh, okay. And if you can't clear the traffic, then get the people to abandon their cars. He's turned, Dum Dum, looking down at the ground. Yeah, we gotta get his attention back fast. Try hitting him with a barrage of mini rockets, Howard. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Well, that got his eye all right, but will he follow us again? <laughs> ah, we'll ask a stupid question and end up feeling like a carrot on a stick. Nearby. Want me to go after him, Reed? No, Johnny. I'm afraid this problem is even bigger than we can handle. I want you to go to the Avengers Mansion and bring them back on the dog. Sure thing, but what about you? I'll go to the Baxter building for Ben and Sue. We'll return in the Fantastic Car. Right. Stay cool, Reed. He's still coming, squashing a lot of Detroit's toys, but aside from the cars, nothing major. Except for one other thing, dum-dum. The panic. Acting as bait ain't exactly my cup of tea, but I'd still rather be up here than down on that street. Can't we help, Gabe? Our first priority is getting him out of the city before he wastes it. Maintain this speed, Howard. It's just about right to stay out of his jaws. Unless he shifts to double time. Yeah. Elsewhere, inside the mammoth helicarrier, young Rob Takaguchi bolts to an airport window. All the activity among the crew. What's going on? Maybe if I... Godzilla! It's Godzilla! He's back! And he's returned to his full size! Gotta find Mr. Dugan before he thinks Godzilla's trying to hurt anyone. Meanwhile, a riot in Times Square. Robinson, in case you haven't heard the news, I want to know what it's all about. This is a newspaper, Robinson. Why isn't there a story on my desk about it? The who, the what, the when and where of this riot, Robinson? Where is it? Easy, Jonah. I, I just got here. Haven't had a chance to... Oh, no. What's the matter? <laughs> well, answer me, Blaster. What in place is wrong with you, Robinson? Your pipe burning my carpet. J -j -j jonah Well, speak up! Man, what is it in the window? What did you see us? Yeah! It's Godzilla! Huge! Right in the middle of town! This is the biggest story of all time! Why aren't any reporters out there? And photographers, we gotta get pictures of this! Where's that blasted Peter Parker? Never around when you need them! Get me a camera, I'll take the pictures myself! And where are the police? Why aren't they doing something about this giant menace? 
You watch it, you overgrown lizard. You're messing with J. Jonah Jameson here. Uh-oh. <laughs> so disdainful of this shattering insect is Godzilla that he does not bother to use his flaming breath on it, but makes his sentiments known, much like J. Jonah himself, with a blast of hot air. <laughs> and then, as suddenly as the chaos began... It's over, Jonah. You can come out now. Ah, uh, are you sure? Huh. I want you to know this hasn't changed a thing, Robertson. Nobody blitzkrieg's J. Jonah Jameson's offices and get, office and gets away with it. Not even that thing. I want every reporter we've got glued to that monster's tail and find Peter Parker immediately. Avengers Mansion, where duty watch is kept by seven of the world's most famed superheroes. Slow day. Yes. <laughs> hey, you passed go and forgot to collect. <laughs> Their names: The Vision, Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, Yellow Jacket, Thor, The Wasp, and Captain America. I thought I collected when the alarm system. There's an intruder in the mansion. Red alert! Defense positions! Obviously, I'm oh, not. No, no, sorry. <laughs> That's an editor's note. We don't read those. <laughs> But we do read the narrator. But the intruder is only... The Human Torch! You got it, Ace. The bearer of hot news and bad tidings. Here it is in capsule form. A big green dinosaur is threatening to mash Manhattan. His name's Godzilla, and he could look a skyscraper in the eye. That memory Ben shrink gas proved ineffective? Let's just say it wasn't exactly permanent. Now, are you going to help, or aren't you? Don't be such a hothead, Torch. Of course we'll help. But someone must stay here at the monitors in case there's any trouble beyond Manhattan. I, Captain America, thou and the Scarlet Witch will remain. The rest of us can fly and conserve precious time. Good enough, Thor. But if you need us, just summon us and we'll come in the ramjet. Verily, we shall. <laughs> Meanwhile, en route to the river... Fire another couple of missiles, Howards. Just keep him interested. Hurry up! We gotta keep ahead of him while we clear the way! Keep those people moving! Drag them if you have to! Just get everybody out of the street! Those last two brought him face front, all right? Now just- No! That's not the way to calm him down! Not by attacking him! Huh? You'll only make him worse! Get that kid out of here! And I mean now! I ain't got time to argue! I mean in ten seconds and I bat his blasted head off! Come, Robert. Is out of our hands now. But they can't! Out! Sheesh, that's all we needed. A blasted monster-loving kid to muck up the works. Don't look now, Dum Dum, but what is that? It's nothing less than the converging forces of two of the most powerful superhero groups in the world, the Avengers and the fabulous Fantastic Four. <laughs> Oh no, the only thing worse than a kid, a whole flock of Rico costume clowns! Why me? Well, better get out on the deck before they start crashing into each other. Bad news! The mayor called the governor and the governor has called the national security guard. The troops are mobilizing now. What? This is getting worse by the blasted minute! That's right, Dogan. I tried to appeal the decision personally, but they wouldn't listen. Still confused and disoriented, Godzilla acts on sheer instinct. If we don't act soon, New York City could become a scene of enormous chaos and... Lashing out at the thing which has teased and tormented him. Now look what you've done. We bring him all the way to the docks, just about to lure him into the water, and then you clowns have to louse it up. Bull Dugan, that monster won't budge and you know it. The torch is right. It's obvious that Godzilla's decided to make a stand right there. The only way he'll enter the water is by force. And that sounds like our cue. I, Avengers, assemble and attack. Think we can move him, Thor? We cannot know ere we try, my armored friend. And let it never be said that the Avengers are unwilling to try. Nor let it be said that Godzilla is unwilling to meet any challenge anywhere at any time. For if nothing else, the Leviathan is ever the king of all monsters, proving it now in one searing, nightmarish instant. 
as the superheroes are engulfed by a firestorm of radioactivity. You may have slowed down the others, foul mouth, but this is one hot shot who's definitely in his element, so you'll just have to find some other way to knock the human torch out of the... Oh! <laughs> Touché! Now let us see how yon monster doth fare against the power of Mystic Mjolnir, the Thunder God's Uru Hammer. Pain such as Godzilla has never known before. And once again he reacts on instinct, roaring with the force of a thousand thunderstorms. Verily, the sap, the dragon is savage beyond compare. He's so huge, Hank, and we're so small. Yes, Jan. Next to that creature, all the Avengers, as well as the Fantastic Four, look small and insignificant. And where does that leave us? Maybe in the best position possible, Hank. I just had an idea. Godzilla's already on the docks, close enough to topple into the river. If we were to fly into his... I get it, and it's the best idea I've heard all day. Let's go. Remember, don't increase size until we get inside his ear. Now, if we use our wings to irritate the walls of his vestibular canal, the center of his equilibrium, we should be able to induce vertigo, calling him, causing him to lose balance and fall. Tidal waves swamp the streets, the price of felling a titan. And I cannot read that. <laughs> Moments later. Moments later, Yellow Jacket and the Wasp emerge something. What's that say? <laughs> emerge from the still churning river. These letters are very small. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Hank, but I think there's still one question S.H.I.E.L.D. overlooked. What now? Uh, yes, thank you. The final irony, just beyond the very same docks where Godzilla first entered New York as a tiny specimen, he now rises in his full majesty, dwarfing everything in sight, and bursting with the power of total destruction. Next issue, Battleground Manhattan. I actually have to be terrible right now and uh, launch the documentary on YouTube, so bear with me for it. That's fine. Let's take, let's take a quick break. The year is 2014, and an enthusiastic fan of Japanese monster movies ventures to the land of the rising sun to learn about the impact the King of the Monsters has had on his homeland. The Kaiju Cast presents Hail to the King, 60 Years of Destruction a crowd-funded and independent documentary about the legacy of Godzilla in Japan. Streaming now, deep from within the subterranean kingdom of YouTube. Ready for the next issue? Yeah. All right. And lo, a child shall lead them. Scene, New York's East River. Problem, Godzilla has risen. Berserk, sending the city into a fever of pandemonium. Prescription for Remedy. Combine the forces of S.H.I.E.L.D., the Avengers, and the Fantastic Four. Stuff the volatile mixture down the throat of a raging Leviathan and pray. So far, the prognosis is not good. Iron Man. I know, Viz. He seems to be putting his foot down. If I were you, I'd shift my mass into its intangible state before the foot hits bottom. But me, I'm more concerned with his tail and with clearing the rest of these cars from the drive before that starts another tidal wave. And then? Then we stare my worst fear straight in the eye. He's heading for the tallest building in sight. The Empire State? That settles the question of our next move. Since we've already assembled group, I'd say it's time for action. Dum dum. Is he really headed where I think he's headed? He sure as blazes is, Gabe! Ram this blasted crate into high gear, Howards! If that a pile of bricks comes tumbling down, Nick Fury will never let me hear the end of it! Faster, Ben! If Godzilla should reach the Empire State Building... Yeah, yeah, Stretch, I know. To him it's no more than a big ticker toy begging to be knocked down. But to me, it's my favorite ending. It's the ending to my favorite movie. And whatever happened to lovable monsters like Kong, anyway? <laughs> I'll fly ahead, Reed. Try to apply some heat to the trouble spot. No use. That's a 
Hmm? No use. We've cut him off, but my flame's like a, a pea shooter next to his radioactive breath. At least we have slowed him temporarily, Torch. Temporary is the operative word, Vige. He's already started moving forward again. I sure hope the police are doing a bang-up job with the evacuation. Young dragon doth remind me of the Midgard Serpent. And verily, this beast may possess even more fury, if not true evil. Just madness then, chaos, and mayhap in the end, sheer folly. Unwilling to slay the beast, we fight a futile battle when we pit force against brute force. And yet what else may we do? But can even the god of thunder hope to stop the savagery of such a massive creature before he reaches yon towering spire? All right, Tequila Breath, you may have beat me on sheer size of our flames, but when it comes to skill... Like I said, I, I guess sheer size is enough. Johnny! Can't let Godzilla unleash another blast when Johnny's helpless. Perhaps if I stretch myself into a blindfold, cut off his vision. No, not even that. But at least I distracted him long enough for Johnny to recover. Now I have to worry about stretching back to the fantastic car. Look at that human rubber band snapping around up there. Snag that flying flipper in midair. All right, Howard, we'll hover right until those costume clowns clear out of the line of fire, and then we'll let the blasted lizard have it with every big gun we- No! What the- Rob! No, you must stop it! Force isn't the way to halt Godzilla! Haven't you Americans learned anything yet? You can't make him come by attacking him! The controls! Jones, Woo, grab that kid and get him out of here! But you can't- Shut up, you whiny little brat! You're confined to your quarters as of right now! And if you give me any more lip about it, I'm gonna turn you right over my knee! Out! <laughs> Look out! Look! The whole building's falling! We'll be crushed! Enough! It is time the God of Storms took a hand in halting this destruction. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enough. <laughs> Great time. It is time for Mystic Mjolnir to conjure a vortex, a tunnel of wind stronger than the mightiest gale, sucking the falling rubble into its whirling embrace and hurling it far out to sea. Holy smokes! Help! Fire! Not a fire truck in sight. We're trapped up here. Hold it. Don't jump. Whatever you do, don't jump. Oh, thank God, you saved us just in time, but I'd already given up hope. But what on earth is happening? The worst, friend. The absolute worst. Nearby. Where's Parker? That lousy monster liable to chop down the Empire State, and we don't even have a photographer out there. Parker's the best photog we got. He always manages to get the spectacular shots. No one else can get, and this story demands spectacular shots. I hope you got an explanation for this, Robertson, and it better be a good one. The best one possible, Jonah. Peter Parker isn't home. Huh? But we have dispatched three other photogs, and I did leave a message for Parker with his girlfriend. Arr! The Empire State Building. Dum-dum. That was the police on the radio. They've hardly begun to evacuate the building. Oh, brother. And now faith doth conspire with a monster to create the moment of truth. New Star Wars action figures! <laughs> Only $2.99 each, plus 50 cents postage and handling. Save when you buy four for only $10.99, plus $150 postage and handling. And the, they're all designed to fit these authentically detailed spaceships and cases. The TIE Fighter. Flashing laser light and sound, remote lever raises seat, $13.95 plus $2.50 postage and handling. Collector's case holds up to 24 Star Wars mini action figures, $6.99 plus $0.75 cents postage and handling. Land speeder, hood opens, wheels lower, simulated floating ride, $6.95 plus $0.75 cents postage and handling. X-wing fighter, wings open to X position, laser light and sound, $13.95 plus $1.50 postage and handling. Ooh, oh boy. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Please, Mr. 
Mr. Jarvis, the dictation! Oh, come now, Miss Jones. One little kiss won't. <laughs> Good Lord, Miss Jones, do you really find me that unattractive? <laughs> and so, a creature hounded, hounded, and driven to the acts of mindless destruction, finally reaches his goal. The one object of the area offering the potential for greatest destruction. What's happening? The whole building is shaking, swaying in the wind. What wind? There ain't even a breeze. Aye, the moment of truth is indeed at hand. The moment when the god of thunder shall learn of his early musings will forever haunt him, if all my vaunted strength and all my courage is not but futile. This attempt to force against this attempt to force against brute force. Inch for traded inch, the world's premier skyscraper swings back and forth as the full power of two awesome beings is exerted in a fierce Give and take stalemate until finally the inevitable happens. The facade begins to crack like brittle eggshell. Well, you look at that. Goldilocks and the Gila monster are playing a game of tug of war. Yes, Ben. With the Empire State in the middle, we must break it up at all costs. Looks like desperation time, Hank. Right, Chad. Do you agree, Shellhead? I don't see where I've got any choice. This cuts it. We're getting nowhere like this, and the skyscraper's gonna be pulverized before long. We gotta do something, and there's nothing left to do but try an all-out blitz! The fever reaches critical peak. As Earth's mightiest heroes launch a last ditch onslaught against the king of all monsters. <laughs> While inside the helicarrier... I know how you feel, Rob. Believe me. I know you do, Mr. Jones. Of all the Americans, you realize more than any of them that Godzilla is not really evil. That's why I'm sorry. I have to do this! Ow! <laughs> Rob! Come back, Rob! The hatch leads out onto the deck. I know. You wouldn't listen to me. Couldn't try anything but violence. So I'll just have to do it by myself. Godzilla! Over here, Godzilla! It's me! It's Rob! You've got to listen to me, Godzilla. You've got to give me your trust one more time. Trust. It all boils down to trust. In this one fateful instant of searing emotion, a 12-year-old boy far from home gambles his life, the life of the entire city, against the trust of a berserk monster. And Godzilla responds. <laughs> and the mass attack halts as every last hero withdraws in hushed apprehension to witness the tense confrontation between huge monster and small boy. I... I know it's all my fault, Godzilla. I'm the one who got you into all this. The shrink gas, the cage, bringing you to New York, everything. <laughs> but you've got to believe I did it for your own good. And you've got to trust me again. I know that sounds confusing, like something my grandfather would say, but it's true. Crazy brat's gonna get herself killed. Right, I mean, that's Hold what it is. <laughs> Hold it, dum dum. We can't risk making Godzilla mad now. Besides, Rob's pulled this off in the past. Who is that nutty kid? You. Oh, sorry. Dr. Takaguchi mentioned that he brought his grandson along, Johnny. That must be him. Yeah? Well, the doc ought to put a leash on him. Somehow bringing this down to the level of one small child makes it more terrifying than a dozen crushed buildings. Yes, and there's nothing we can do about it. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Will you, Godzilla? Will you trust me just one more time? Growl. <laughs> Could see my musings were both right and wrong. My force was enough to stay the tower's top lane, and yet there was another way, the way of gentleness known only to a child. Will you believe me when I say you'll be left in peace? 
The answer extended talons capable of crushing for steel. Forged steel, excuse me. And capable too of tenderness. Oh, thank you, Godzilla. Thank you. Woo way! You see, Doctor? Rob will be all right. Godzilla trusts him. Yes, tomorrow. But in the grasp of such raw power, what if that trust should waver, even for the briefest of moments? Now, Godzilla, you've got to get away from here, away from this city, as far away as you possibly can. Trust the magic response born of kindness, of caring. Come on, Godzilla. Let's go now. Please. Buildings may topple, monuments may shatter, history may be changed, and even life, the most precious thing of all, may be snuffed on a twiggly. Follow him, but don't do anything to hurt that kid! But trust, true trust, is a long time in dying. Often it conquers all, and everyone in the procession, in the procession of peaceful triumph watches with a mixture of awe, terror, and perhaps slight shame. He's doing it! Heading for the water! He's gonna leave the city! Good! That's right, Godzilla. But now you've gotta keep going. As far away as possible. And now he's putting back <laughs> and now he's putting Rob back down. Then the Leviathan turns, a colossus striding into the bay, and Rob's voice, no more than a choked murmur, is perhaps the strongest sound in a day, filled with screams. Goodbye, Godzilla. Goodbye. Whoops. Appears I'm a little too late to crash this party. <laughs> and it looks like it was a Class A butte. Well, it's just as well. I'm really pushed. And hardly spectacular. And at least I've got one pick for jo Jolly Jonah. Hardly spectacular, a rear shot from a distance at that, but at least it wasn't a total loss. One final roar. And farewell. And Godzilla disappears from view. There! Are you satisfied? You can all go home now. Godzilla's gone! Godzilla's gone for good! Indeed. But there will be no harsh words for young Rob Takaguchi this night, and he will not be alone. After all, he has led them. The end. There uh, you go. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun, right? So, we had a blast doing this. Like I said before, we did a, a run-through last night, and we were just laughing our butts off the whole time. Uh, I think we'd love to do this again next year, so definitely tell the organizers of G-Fest that this was as rad as it was, and, you know, maybe next year we can bring out some kind of, I don't know, dark horse or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be great. Did you guys have a good time? Awesome. Awesome. Also from Stephen Schilling, two men on the run from their pasts have an unlikely showdown in an unlikely place. And Soroji, a comic illustrated by Stephen Schilling, available now. Stephen Schilling also has art for sale through Wolf Tribe Studio Arts. Find Wolf Tribe Studio Arts and follow them on Facebook.